Hadrix loved the first episode of Badasses in Science. Wonderful. Truly, I absolutely look forward to future installments. But I had to post a follow-up. Because if you're going to talk about auto-experimentation and badasses, you have to talk about Dr. John Hunter. You want a scientific badass? With all due respect to Dr. Marshall, guy's a total badass, more balls than me, that's for damn sure. But John Hunter would kick Barry Marshall's lily ass. Hunter was an 18th century surgeon and scientist. He was actually one of the first truly scientific surgeons in the world, which is what he's most famous for today. And he also had a rather peculiar penchant for experimenting on himself. Quick example. He once tore his Achilles tendon. Now, I don't know if you've ever torn your Achilles tendon, but it hurts like a son of a bitch. Most people would have immediately gone to a doctor, tried to treat it, tried to do something for the pain at least. Not Hunter. He saw an opportunity to learn something about the healing process. So he left the torn tendon untreated and assiduously studied and cataloged the healing process over the next few months. But that was just a warm-up. Hunter's ballsiest experiment happened when he turned his sights on syphilis. At the time, there was a huge debate over whether or not syphilis and gonorrhea were two diseases or one disease. Hunter thought they were the same disease and wanted to perform an experiment to prove it. But how do you do that? You can't just give syphilis to a patient. So, you guessed it, he gave it to himself. But it's not just that he gave it to himself. It's how he gave it to himself. He found a sailor with primary syphilis asked him if he could collect some of the pus off of his infected penis, and for a modest fee, the sailor acquiesced. Next, Hunter took a knife and abraded his own penis, and then rubbed pus in the wound. I want to repeat that, because I think it's pretty damn ballsy. He carved up his own cock so he could infect himself with syphilis. And sure enough, it worked. He caught the disease. I know that stomach ulcers are seriously painful and all, but syphilis, as I'm sure you know, is a potentially fatal disease. And even if it doesn't kill you, it can drive you insane, cover your body in lesions, and of course, rot your schlong like a two-week-old banana. And there was no cure for it at the time, nor even an effective treatment. And did I mention that he cut his fucking cock to infect himself with it? This is what syphilis can do to your face. Just imagine what it can do to your junk. Hunter knew this, but chose to infect himself with it anyway so he could study it more closely. Of course, the joke was ultimately on him. Unbeknownst to Hunter, the sailor whom he collected the pus from also had gonorrhea. So his experiment was a bust. And of course, his hypothesis was wrong. As we know today, syphilis and gonorrhea are in fact two separate diseases. But the only reason that we know this is because John Hunter helped pioneer the methods of studying and cataloging diseases scientifically. So all of medicine and humanity owe him and his infected dick a huge debt of gratitude. Now that is badass.